won the healthcare modeling competition, which is the heritage modeling competition, which was a cross, which was a global modeling competition to predict how many days a particular person would spend in a hospital in the next year. Some clients use us to build those sorts of complex models for them. On the other hand, there's another set of clients that wants the complex capability, but is looking for a whole suite of analytical strengths from us. And for those we have, for example, a uh, hundred person setup, which is spread across uh, the New York area in the United States, it's spread across Dallas in Texas, it's spread across their operations in Europe, and we have locations in India where we support them from. They use a wide variety of analytical capabilities from us. The complex modeling, uh, as well as uh, interpretation of data, and in certain cases, we're working locked in step with their senior management helping them on a day-to-day -day basis derive insight from data and apply it to strategy without actually putting it into a model. So I think there are clients who use our absolute complex modeling capability for very niche engagements, and there are others who use us over a much longer period across all aspects of their business. In the last two to three years, clients have focused a lot on just using the data they had in their environment uh, and making the best use of it. I think over the next two, th three years, uh, clients are starting to integrate data which is outside their organization into their predictive models. So an example of that is, again, I'll take an example from healthcare. Uh, when healthcare companies are trying to predict likelihood of disease, uh, previously, they used data only within their environment. Today, they are using lifestyle variables from the consumer segment, which is completely outside data they produce, to better predict and take care of their customers. Uh, similarly, uh, banks are exploring the use of a, a lot of social media data for marketing and are trying to understand that channel. I think there will be more impactful use cases of that in the next two to three years. I think that's one area where we'll see a lot of traction. Uh, the second area actually is the use of machine learning uh, in modeling. Uh, and the way we think about it is, uh, today if an organization takes 100 decisions, um, in about five years, 80 of them will have a very significant component of analytics baked in, uh, rather than only being human judgment decisions. I think there's gonna be a huge movement in the use of machine learning to actually make that move from uh, what is today uh, 100 decisions to about 80 of them with analytics intervention. I think one strength which we don't often talk about is uh, we're one of the oldest analytics players in this space. Uh, we started in the year 2000. Um, and in a paradoxical way, our strength is that we've made all the mistakes that someone who's a couple of years old or maybe five years old is making right now. Uh, we pioneered global delivery of analytics. Uh, it's not easy to deliver that. Analytics is not rule-based. Uh, we bumbled through it, but we bumbled through it in 2003. Uh, so today, we've perfected that art. So I think it's our strengths are less about the number of people we have or the high quality of talent that we bring or that we were the biggest recruiter from the premier institutes in the United States or from India. Uh, those are facts, uh, but anyone could get those. Our strength is we know how to leverage them. We've made all the mistakes one had to make over the last 15 years. So we're making new mistakes, uh, but no one else is making them and that's our strength.